Hi, I'm Ryan Kohlenbeck, the CEO of Pico MES, and welcome to your trial kit. So today we're going to walk through what's in the box and kind of what each function of each thing is uh, so you can get started and enjoy it. Uh, we lovingly refer to this as magic in a box, and we hope it delivers for you as well. So as you get the box, um, when we flip it open here, you have a protective layer of cardboard, but you'll start to see there's two layers of content in here. I'm going to go ahead and pull them out just so it's easy to see. And we'll set the two items here. And we'll get this box down out of the way. So in the kit, we're trying to give you everything you need to get started. So you've got the brains of the operation, we call it the Pico server. So this is the brick computer, the little mini server that'll run your whole application on it. So inside of here is this. This is the thing that you'll plug into your, your building's network uh, in an IT closet or somewhere safe uh, where it can then drive the application. There's a mounting bracket that comes with it just in case if you need it. So there's some fasteners in the bottom part that allows you to mount that to a, a wall or any application that, that is necessary. If you don't need it, set it aside. Um, the other side of it is the IoT network piece of the, the puzzle. So these are what we call a hub. So this is our microcontrollers um, that allow you to plug in USBs. Um, they can plug into Ethernet. You have HDMI outputs for driving screens and all kinds of other uh, tips and tricks that we use them for. But think of them as the way to bring in barcode readers or whatever it might be. So there's two of them in the kit. And then we provide just a 3D printed mounting bracket. There's some Velcro tape on them so that you can uh, get them up and out of the way at a given workstation. When attached, uh, you've got either M6 or quarter 20 fasteners can go through these holes here. And then the slots are actually for zip ties. If you want to hook it up to like a Creeform rack or something that's round, you can run a zip tie through there. And if you really want to go uh, with it, there's actually four little mounting screws sitting down here that you can attach magnets to. So be sure to reach out to a Pico team member if there's any questions on mounting things, uh, and we're happy to help. So with those two sitting there, you now have the application capability as well as the ability to hook up at least a station or two's worth of uh, connectivity. Kind of in the bottom section is where all the accessories are. Standard things. You want to fire up the server, you probably want the power supply to it. So there's a power supply sitting in here, as well as the, the proper cable to hook that up to the plug in the wall. We have the two power supplies for the hubs. They're just built on Raspberry Pis, so that's just simply a USB-C. It's a 5-volt, 3-amp power supply to run each one of those. And then because these things come with micro HDMIs and most people don't have that cable lying around, we actually throw in two cables here. So it's micro HDMI to regular HDMI, just in case uh, for hooking up to monitors. So you plug the small end into the hub, the big end goes into the monitor and away you go. And then finally, there's two what we call VESA mounting brackets. For those that aren't familiar, monitors and TVs use a standard that's called VESA, V-E-S-A, um, with different hole patterns on the back of the monitor for mounting, you know, like an arm uh, on it or a wall mount. So this one is set up for smaller monitors, so it has a 75 millimeter by 75 millimeter pattern and the 100 by 100. So any 15.6 21 inch monitor that they're going to use that pattern. So you can put this between whatever your mount is and the monitor itself and the hub will now mount conveniently out of the way. So if you're using your hubs to drive monitors, that's what that setup's for. So there's two brackets for those, one for each hub, allows you to run two monitors. And we're, if we are nice, we even give you the nut to hold the thing down on the system. And that's it. The idea here is you can get up and running very quickly, right? This plugs in, self-identifies, you're good to go. The hubs self-identify inside of your deployment, and then you can have them mounted to a, a monitor cleanly, nice out of the way, or a workbench if you're not using monitors. I hope that was helpful. Um, as always, please reach out to our team if you have any questions, and look forward to working with you.